On with our coverage, this oil disaster comes just over a month after President Obama announced a new push for offshore drilling. While the administration has indicated that new drilling will not happen without proper review, some in Congress are already calling on the president to scrap the plan altogether. Joining me now by telephone, one of those congressmen, Frank Pallone of New Jersey, now in his 11th term. Representative Pallone serves on the Energy and Commerce Committee and the Natural Resources Committee. Congressman, thank you for being on our show today. So fears of another disaster, is this what's primarily encouraging you to ask the president to abandon his offshore drilling plan? Well, I've been opposed to the expansion of offshore drilling for a long time. And, and the reason, or for one of the reasons, is because we continue to have uh, these kinds of accidents. In other words, uh, you know, this is, of course, the biggest that we've ever seen. But there are accidents where rigs uh, spill on a regular basis in the Gulf, some small, some large. I think they average about once a month. And that oil accumulates. So, you know, this is obviously uh, draws attention to it more than ever. And points to the reason why he should abandon these plans to expand the offshore drilling. But you know the argument, right, Congressman? People are terrified paying 4 or $5 per gallon of gas if we have to import an even greater percentage of our energy. Yeah, but what we are saying is that we have to move towards renewable resources, in other words, windmills, solar energy. And the problem, Lori, is that when you go into these deeper waters, I mean, when he's opening up uh, new areas, they're primarily areas in deeper water, for example, along the Atlantic, where you're going to have to dig, you know, do drig for wells that are even deeper than the one uh, that we're experiencing now in Louisiana. And the problem with the technology is there really is no way to cap or to stop the flow if there's a spill. So, you know, I think we have to understand that when you expand, you go into the Atlantic, into deeper waters, these kinds of problems are going to be magnified because the technology is not there to prevent the, uh, you know, to, to stop the flow of the oil once the, the rig, uh, you know, overturns or, or there's an accident. But Congressman Pallone, aren't we like decades away from having enough infrastructure in place to support this nation's energy demand, even though this obviously hastens the push for clean energy alternatives, safe nuclear, obviously, in the wind power that you were describing. So why wouldn't you support Gulf oil drilling or offshore oil drilling at all, at least for another decade or two? Well, the problem is that if we uh, continue to rely more and more on fossil fuels, I'm fearful that, you know, we just drag our feet on the renewables. And that's why I think it's important to almost be forced to move ahead with the renewables at a quicker pace. But in addition to that, the number, the amount of oil that you're going to get from this offshore drilling, I mean, they're talking about the whole Atlantic uh, coast in terms of proven resources, is only like uh, less than a month's U.S. supply. So it's a small amount, and, and the dangers, because you're going further out, having to drill further down, where it's very, where it's virtually impossible, uh, you know, to correct a problem if there's an accident. I think you have to balance the two, and, and, and when you balance it, it doesn't make sense to, to do this expansion okay. of the offshore the way the president Congressman, proposed. I hate to cut you off, but we are running short of time. Thanks very much. Congressman Frank Pallone of New Jersey. Many thanks. Bloomberg News continues.